Hey, Brenda Kay and Miss Frankie, don't go away. We've got a story about Stingy Jack today. Hey, I'm Brenda Kay, and of course, this is Miss Frankie, and we thought we'd just share a story with you today. How did a pumpkin come to be a jack-o'-lantern? Well, I'm going to share that with you. So hundreds of years ago in Ireland, there was a man named Stingy Jack. And Stingy Jack was miserable, he was a drunk, and he constantly played tricks on people, even the devil himself. So one day, he tricked the devil into going up a tree. And while the devil was up a tree, he put crosses all around the bottom of the tree so the devil couldn't get down. Of course, the devil didn't like that. Stingy Jack made him a deal. He said, what did he say? He said, if you refuse to take my soul into hell when I die, I'll let you out of the tree. So Stingy Jack agreed, and uh, so the devil agreed, and Stingy Jack took all the crosses, all the crosses from around the tree. So many years later, after still being drunk and miserable and playing tricks on uh, playing tricks on people, he dies. So he has a turnip with him because that's his favorite food, and he gets up to the pearly gates of heaven, and Saint Peter said, "No way." No, you're drunk, you're miserable, you play tricks, you're not coming to heaven. So down he goes to the doors, the fires of hell. So the devil opens the door and true to his word, don't like that, true to his word, he refused to take Stingy Jack's soul. And Stingy Jack said, well, what am I going to do? I'm out here in the dark never world in between heaven and hell. I can't see anything. Where do I go? So the devil said, hollow out your turnip. He took an ember from the fires of hell and he lit Stingy Jack's turnip. So for all these years, Stingy Jack has been roaming the netherworld between heaven and hell, trying to find his way somewhere. And on Halloween, what started is in Ireland, they would take turnips or uh, different things they had, squash. They would hollow them out and they would light them and they would put them out on this night called Halloween to keep not only just Stingy Jack away, but any other unworldly ghosts. And are you not, we're not finished our story yet. What are you doing? And then when the Irish came to America, they found pumpkins. And the tradition still exists today. So I just, I drew my face on mine, didn't we? And we're going to go out and we're going to carve our Halloween pumpkin. And we're going to put a candle in it. And we're going to put it on our door to make sure that there's no stingy jacks or other unworldly ghosts coming from our house. Right? I hope you enjoyed our little story on Stingy Jack today and the history of jack-o'-lanterns. If you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. I'm Brenda Kay with the Halifax Home Selling Group. And of course, this is Sweetness Frankie here. We'll see you next time. Cheers.